So one of the things that you said earlier that you liked about Neon, you said that he was uncorrupted. <laughs> um, Yo, is there a fucking problem, man? Well, Lahi, bro, you're retarded. <laughs> Wait, me? Yeah, that says so you! Up. You're That's a fucking so retard! Up. Sorry, but go ahead, go ahead. Anyway, no, I'm just saying he's retarded. It's because I mean, I've been sitting here smiling and I just... Uh, uh, sorry. Alright, so you said earlier that one of the things that you uh, like about Neon is that he's uncorrupted. Do you think that it's a fair deal for someone like him that's uncorrupted to be with someone like you that is corrupted? I oh. think fair is the wrong term, but I think it's appropriate. Why would it not be? Well, do you think he's getting a fair deal back? A fair deal? What does that mean? Well, typically when in a relationship, uh, there's a benefit to both parties, right? So, yeah. for example, in your case, you're saying you like his personality, he's uncorrupted, blah, blah, blah. You know, and men tend to want women that are not corrupted either. Do you think it's a fair deal that someone like him that's uncorrupted is dealing with someone like you who I would argue is corrupted? Mm, I think it's fair if that's what he wants. <laughs> What if he doesn't know what he wants because he's 19 years old? Yeah. Well, I'm basically the same age as him, so then it's fairly rulable that I don't know what I want either. Well, you're older than him, and you have more experience with opposite gender. And you have sex. I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> and, and you're not a virgin. Okay. So you clearly have more... What's your favorite position? <laughs> Sorry. You have more wisdom than him in this in this regard. That's fine. Um, I think it's fair. I don't... If he knows what he wants, good for him. I think he's over the well over the age to decide what he wants. True. So you want her? But yeah. <laughs> you forcing it, bro. Why are you saying it like? Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you think she's worth taking seriously? I, yeah. I think so. You think so? Yeah. Or you know so? Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I feel like you guys are trying to take advantage of his situation more because it seems like I'm so definite about what I want and then when he answers he's like a little You think we're trying to take advantage? We. We. Not us. I mean, I would I'm argue asking. It's, I, I would argue it's you that's trying to take advantage. Okay, well you can argue that but regardless he does ask me to come on his streams and I don't beg him to be on his streams. I tell him if he wants me to be there I'll be there. Well, let's see here. Who has more to gain? You or him? Ooh. I think we both have. No, you have far to more to gain. Why? You just answered your own question. Why, why would you think that then? It was a rhetorical question, to be honest. But like, you have way more to gain. He has a bigger following than you. His audience is mostly young men. That is the audience that you're trying to recruit he, over to your Neon OnlyFans. Neon has one of the best, engage, keep the best engaging community Thank you for proving my by point. far. Yeah, and I've realized that. I didn't know that when I first Thanks met for him my point. or for a while. Shout you do to realize you guys, you're helping me out, right? Well, my yes, argument. Cool. I don't care. I, you can, I, I'm not trying to like. What I'm trying to say is that what I think, and I'm just going to... I think it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Absolutely. No, no, me. no, it's not. Um, I'm just going to keep it a million here. You have everything to gain from being in a relationship with him. And for you, it's a W because you don't have to fuck him. You don't have to necessarily show him intimacy. <laughs> Wait, you don't have to. Wait, huh? you're able I never to, thought about it like you're, that. You're able to kind of have this weird pseudo friendship with him while simultaneously being able to siphon off his audience, monetize his audience, and continue to live your lifestyle and probably more than likely see other men, which has been proven by the polygrapher. Let's be honest. If he wasn't neon, would you still date him? You guys ask me this question a lot. What does that mean? If he wasn't neon, he is. This is like you're talking to him he right wasn't. here. If he didn't stream, is that your question? The character neon, yes. the person behind the camera. If that was separate, let's say he's just a regular person working at McDonald's. Wallahi. Um, would you take him serious? I would take him seriously if he was the same person towards me as I was to him. Why would it, why would anything change? If you weren't able to monetize his audience to the significant degree that you're able to do so now, would you still hang out with him? Yes, I would hang off. I would hang out with him off camera. But oh, we, have so much, we have so much like time. Like you guys are tweaking. It's been three weeks. That's not that much time. Three weeks. It's been four. <laughs> four. Now it's been four. Thank four. you. What? I sorry. The three week comments have been getting to me. I yeah. honestly, I honestly, I'm just trying to say to you guys, like, mm -hmm. I think. That you guys see it, you guys overthink it way too much. I think with me being in this industry, it's amazing that he's found a girl with a real soul who cares about him. Like, uh, let's be honest, soul? you call you call, you call, on, you call on, these on, girls demonic. Yes. Did you or did you not say earlier that you you decided to go on OnlyFans because it would make you more money? You don't want to work a minimum wage job. Yes. You sold your soul that. back then, so Ooh. you don't have a no, soul. No, I didn't. You don't have a soul. You sold your soul back then because I the reality is you. this. Female value is based on purity. A big part of purity is not selling yourself on the internet for other men to whack off to you and look at naked photos of yourself. Whether or not you sell your sexuality, that is what men want from women. Men want pure girls. The very thing that you're trying to say, oh, I like Neon because he's pure. 
eh, mm. I think you like him more because it's pure and you can manipulate him and go ahead and monetize his audience. I don't to your manipulate benefit. him. I've never manipulated him really? once. Really? I've never tried to manipulate him once. Crying on a polygraph when you got found to be told Those that you were Those are real lying. emotions. You're going to call that manipulation? Yes. 100%. Why? How? The only time a woman's tears are legit is when she's oh, I alone. I saw this in your clip. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I understand that's what you're saying. Misogyny. Yeah. But I'm not, I wasn't there to try to persuade him to think differently. I cried because that's a really hard thing when people think you're cheating on someone. I've been cheated on before. Those past two relationships I told you about, that's why I also haven't been in another relationship. I've been celibate because I'm terrified of another man cheating on me again. Mm. So why would I go out and cheat on someone when that's something that I've dealt with for a long time? Those are real emotions. Well, you already sold your soul, so I don't know if I can believe you there. Okay, you're going to just transition the question. That's fine. But I did not sell my soul, and I've never tried to you said you weren't trying to persuade him. him. You actually were trying to persuade him by crying. No, I wasn't. Absolutely. No, that I wasn't. That is the highest form of persuasion because you're crying to try to get at his emotions. Like, hey, I didn't do this. This polygrapher is lying. I didn't cheat, blah, blah, blah. The polygrapher did say if you're in a room that is loud, noisy, and people are banging on the table, it's not going to be an accurate test. He asked me if I wanted to uh, No one was banging on the table. Bro, it was that's actually not quiet. true. It was a loud room. No, it wasn't. You weren't there. I saw it. You weren't it's there. It's at Sneeko's house. You weren't there. I know exactly where it is. Yes, that's fine, but you weren't there. I Ryan. think there's a lot of sexual tension going on here. There's no <laughs> sexual tension no, here no, whatsoever. No. <laughs> um, there's none. But Do you have anything I, you want to ask him, too? Because you guys are just I'm kind loving of coming this. at this is me. Fucking good. No, no, no. It's just that, like I said before, um, I think that you are a predatory female. You know exactly what you're doing. Um, you understand that he doesn't understand his value, and you're using that to your advantage to monetize his audience because his audience is a bunch of young, impressionable men, your target audience, by the way, that you can make money on. And you understand, okay, I need to keep this guy in my corner to continue what I'm doing. Oh, let me buy him a Rolex so that he doesn't feel... You sound like the manipulator here. I'm, I'm the just letting you know. Uh, you sound like it. Really? You're like trying to make this whole storyline that's just not true. How can you... like? How can you just not think that, like, you would think this is all set up, this is all planned. It's not. It's really not. Like, he came to my house. I didn't even, like, know who he was. And then we start streaming together. We meet. And we have following. good chemistry. No, we have good chemistry. Yeah. Like, you can do It's all based off chat. He listens to chat. That's his life. So you can say, oh, but if they didn't like me, I wouldn't be here right now. Hmm. Well, the thing is, like I said before, his chat, a bunch of young, impressionable guys, and they don't understand how women like you move. Why do you think that I'm manipulated? You like you can meet so many other women, but you think I'm the manipulator here. Yes. That is a part of your brand and what you do. You're I don't not only think fans. I genuinely You sell your sexuality, so by <laughs> definition you are a manipulator. How so... is that manipulation? It's so cut and clear. What do you mean it's cut and clear? If men want to jerk off, they'll watch porn. That's up to them. They watch How you. am I the manipulator? I did. Yeah. <laughs> It's a personable <laughs> thing. OnlyFans is a personable thing. You're shitting on girls for wanting to make money so that they can actually have like money up front when they're no, young. No, I'm shitting on girls for taking the easy way out. Which yeah. you, you can take the easy way out. That's fine. But you got to deal with what comes with taking the easy way out, which means a harder life. People are not going to respect you. I don't think people don't respect me. I think people respect me more when they actually find out who I am and genuinely care. So to, people that subscribe to, to your OnlyFans respect you? Really? Really? I don't know. I don't care. The oh, you don't care. You don't care. care. You just... I don't know. I don't know if people respect me. No, you I, know. You know. I only care about the people who are close to me because they know who I genuinely am. That's all I care about. Like character. It's all about character. I would people, argue you so, have no online character. Online and social being, media. You is... literally proved you don't have character because you chose to not work a regular job and you wanted to take the easy way out, which is fine. I did. I did work. A, I worked jobs. And I worked stopped. multiple. And you stopped. And that's fine. People can do that. Yeah, but that is la a lack of character. You didn't want to see it through. You want to make quick money while selling your soul, which is fine. But you got to deal with the consequences of that. I think it shows character because I took a leap of faith that every single girl, 98% of girls are terrified to take because they're scared of what people, other people think of them. And I'm just not that person. No, they're intelligent enough to understand that putting themselves on the internet and showing their butthole for three ninety nine so on true. OnlyFans is not a good move. All these girls want to do it. Move. They ask me for advice. They ask me how to do it. I tell them, and it's up to them if they want to do it. If they need help, like I will help girls if they want to. It's that's up Wait, to them. What? I don't care. Girls Wait. don't want to be on OnlyFans sexualizing themselves. It's so not true. They don't like you do don't. That. Girls aren't going to come to you and ask. They're for help. okay with the money, but then once they realize the consequences that come after it, they're like, "Oh, this sucks. No one takes me seriously. People make fun of me. I'm called a whore." I just think I'm you don't take me seriously. I've never met somebody who doesn't take me seriously unless it's you. Most of society will not take you seriously. I mean, as I a don't matter know of fact, most of society. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you were proud of what you did, you wouldn't have been so reluctant to say OnlyFans when we asked you what you did for a profession. Hmm. You were very <laughs> No, aware. I said I work two jobs and I said OnlyFans. He, he said, and what? No, no, no. When you're proud of what you do, you lead with that. And you weren't. Yeah. 
We have to drag it out of you. No, you didn't. I do social media. Uh, and I do run two businesses at uh, uh, OnlyFans. Uh, no, because the thing is, if I said OnlyFans at first, you guys would be like, oh my God, she's leeching. She's trying to be a clout chaser, all this shit. So you, you know. know. Yo, yeah, so you know. know. So no,